On day two, we'll be looking at this area of the country. We awake somewhere over the Atlantic. Soon we're flying over England. And then over France. The countryside looks somewhat brown because it's harvest time for the wheat. And then there on the horizon, that's the Swiss Alps. This is our airplane we came in on. After our arrival in Zurich, Boris will pick us up and Darius will meet us there also. <laughs> After loading the car, we head to Hochfelden, where we'll spend several days with Boris. And it gets our first look at the Swiss countryside. Oh, boy. You have to hear it. Sign, yes. As we enter Huckfelden, we quickly realize this is a farming community as we get behind some farming equipment. These houses are typical for here, this area here. Are they the half timber houses? Mm -hmm. Kind of like England yeah. and other places? It's a small town. 1,800 people, mm -hmm. store, little milk store, fresh milk from the cows, cheese, mm -hmm. you like cheese? As we drive through the center of town, we see it's not a very big village, and I will be back here exploring several mornings in the next few days. I don't like, I don't like much cheese, some Swiss occasionally, you know, or something like pizza is okay, but okay, so I'm we not really... We don't have a, a rock collector. Well, I'll, eat, I'll try it and see. We'll That's see what does fondue is here. Melt the cheese and dip bread in it. Yep. We can try it. Deborah would love it. So, we can, we can do it. I got enough fat. I can lose a little bit and still be okay. So, the right hand here. That's my car. Uh, our house here. This is your house here. Arrive at Boris's house, we meet the family. Boris, we already know. Pamela, his wife. Lorraine, who's about two years old. And Melina, who was just born a few months earlier. For some reason, Loren and I become very hey. good friends. Hey. Oh, what a lot of stuff. Hey. Mm -hmm. Like a shed. 
shed, yeah. Shed, it's now a little bit more on the left hand because we are in the bathroom here, your bathroom. Yeah. And that's um, Pam's grand grandfather and grand grand grandfather. Uh, the first of the family who was born in his house, so that means his parents built this house. And that afternoon, after settling in, we head out to Iglesio and the Rhine River. As we drive along, we see the farmland in this area. These farms are heavily subsidized by the government, and there are a lot of wooded areas with lots of different animals, including deer and swine, in them. The typical pattern that emerges as we drive along is fields and farms with a little farming community of maybe eight or nine houses that will pass through real quickly on narrow roads and then back into the farm area again. As we enter into Iglesio, we get to see what the gas prices are like in Switzerland. Iglesio is like many other towns. It has a modern area, but it also has an old town that you can visit and see how they used to live. That's where we're headed now. And soon, we cross the Rhine River. Everybody says that. <laughs> oh, it's not the most surprising. If, if, if they remember in Switzerland, it was clean. <laughs> I think, well, okay. One of the things that really surprised me about Switzerland was the vineyards there. I never pegged it to be a wine growing country. The old city is located right on the Rhine River. Let's explore it and its church a little bit. Many of the old buildings have paintings on their side to show what they were originally. Up. Here. Okay. Yes. Deborah the Explorer on the Rhine River. We're not the only ones out enjoying the river. We will see people all along picnicking, boating and lots and lots of swans. Along both sides of the river are paths that you can walk down for miles and miles if you want to. When we arrive at Rudlingen, 
it seems that we're pretty tired so maybe it's just best to look around a little bit and then head back the river Rivella, let's see, how does it taste? It's like beer. No, it's not beer. It's not beer? No, no. Try it, Deborah. He said it's not beer. It looks like beer, but it's not beer. It's good. What does it taste like? As we leave Iglesia, it's time to make our second country, Germany. Driving between countries in this area is about as easy as driving between our states. Germany really doesn't look a whole lot different than Switzerland. Back in Hochfelden, Boris is getting the fire ready for a little grilling while we rest from our long journey. The evening's entertainment will be the Loren Show ending with a rousing patriotic flag waving ceremony. This is in Boris's backyard. I am so glad that you have come to visit us here in Switzerland. I know you are going to have a fun time visit with Boris and Pamela and their family. I hope that you have a good night's sleep. See you tomorrow morning. So let's chart where we've been. We flew into Zurich, took a car to Hochfelden, where we'll be spending some time, drove to Iglesio, took a boat down up to Rudlingen on the Rhine River, came back, and went back to Hochfelden for the night.